106, just the band. 106. Three, four. James came in, looked at the film, saw it for sort of the modern fairy tale that it was, and wanted to bring all of those elements to it um, without it becoming saccharine. The films I tend to pick now are films that sort of try and do something for me a little bit spiritually as opposed to just our, you know, jobs. I try not to be self-important or think too much or too highly of the music that I write because to me, until it's all finished, it's like this spider web and everything's in the right place in a way. And every time I hear another piece of music or I go to a movie while I'm working on something, it's like jiggling the spider web and it could come apart. I didn't know what Casper was going to be like when I saw it, not knowing the, the comic strip that well. And when I saw it, it sort of had this charm and there were so many possibilities. And what they were looking for me was not cartoon music. They were looking for, for me to give something to Casper that I think comes out, which is which, this lost quality of youth or childhood that he's given up and can never recapture. And it makes it more of a fairy tale. And there were a couple of cues that were just so magical. It was just left the room in awe. It just sort of transcended what the movie was doing. It just was so wonderful. And it's just nice to be sort of part of that. I don't know whether it's the music that acts as a catalyst or the film that acts as a catalyst or just everybody hearing this great sound in the room. But it's wonderful when that happens. He was, he was just a very generous personality. I, I, I feel really lucky because James is very patient with me and, again, never had a problem. Um, so he was, he was just he was a great pleasure. Casper? Sounds great. Thanks.